Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It's Tuesday, Drew's day. All right, and we're gonna be getting back into the haunting of Castle Malloy. So let me go ahead and get us switched over to our game. All right, I don't have any audio. Oh, hang on one minute, y'all. Technical slight difficulties. I think. Hang on. Oh, we're good. Oh, son of a gun. Hang on. <laughs> no, don't save. I thought I couldn't hear anything. There we go. I thought I couldn't hear anything <laughs> because there's no sound happening in this scene. But as soon as I click turn around, it doesn't, I think it, I'm not sure if it turned me around, but it took me all the way back out of the bog and I had to reload really quick. Okay, so we're playing Haunting of Castle Malloy. Um, trying to remember what happened. Uh, we were solving some puzzles. We found a secret passage in the nursery, which is where uh, Kyler's missing fiance, Matt, was staying. And then, so we found a secret passage back there, but I don't think it actually led to anything. Then we got spooked by a banshee. Then, I can't remember, we like got instructions and figured out how we needed to get through the bog. So, we've followed the bog. Oh my. I can see my green screen struggling right now. I don't know if there is anything I can do about that at the moment. There may not be. All right, sorry y'all, it's been a difficult day. So let's go ahead, ah, there it goes, it clicked in just now. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and figure out what's going on in this like mysterious house in the middle of the bog where clearly the witch of the bog lives. Like, what is this? There's like flies over here. Ew, I don't wanna touch those. It's tansy, penny royal, feverfew, wormwood, catnip. These are all just plants, herbs and remedies. Moonwort comes up infrequently in the paddock grounds. Sage, a dried herb that should always be kept on hand. Lavender by the base of the stones that reach towards the sky. Oh, I think I was talking about this last time, where I was like noticing all of the um, the flowers around. Larkspur, roses, lady fern, yarrow, vervain, foxglove. That'll kill you. Okay, to ward against disease. Bugbane, a charm for safety to attract bees. Oh, to summon a banshee. Okay, when the moon is full in the month of May, something. I can't turn the page, and I'm trying to look. Something exciting place in the world. I look forward to going to work on something. Interesting. There's like plants tied up, big saw. Let's Ew. see. Ew! Nancy, why are we looking at this? It's yeah, gross. Uh, wool? Oh, she been making dolls? Oh. That's the same paper, right? That's the same, like, paper that's by the dollhouse puzzle? Looks like I need a key. Nancy, you're not at all concerned that you are just like snooping through someone's stuff and you have no idea who it is. And clearly they have like how to summon a banshee 101. Uh <laughs> okay. Why do I, I? I also just weirdly got the feeling that this is where Denal lives. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't. Okay. So I wonder if we can find the rest of that How to Summon a Banshee page. Okay, what were the other things, the other remedies I want to look at real quick? To ward against diseases, 
bug bane to get rid of insect infestation. Oh, we should maybe do that and see if we can get rid of these insects over here. Mix together equal parts of tansy, pennyroyal, wormwood, thyme, and catnip. Tansy, pennyroyal, wormwood, something. Uh, tansy, pennyroyal, wormwood, thyme, and catnip. And put it in an infested area. Wow. That's good. Okay, so we got some kind of like weird looking glass. Oh. Okay. I wish there was like a way to... Okay, so it's whatever it is, it's on something... Sorry, if it's in the middle of the screen. Okay, what other things do we have? A charm for safety. Um, and to attract bees. Why would we want to attract bees? Charm for safety, though. Ten blades of yarrow gathered, one given back to the spirits. Nine placed in the stocking to be tread upon by thy right heel, whilst a on a long journey shall keep evil at bay. I think somebody is going to come through the door right as we are trying to leave this place, and I'm not excited for it. Um, I wonder, can we, like, look at it? No? Okay. I wonder what that looking glass is for, because we can't, like, keep it up while we're moving. Um, and it's definitely, like I said, for something in the middle of the screen. All right, let's see. There was nothing on this side. There's just like a drawer down there. Okay. Okay. Uh. That sucks. I guess I don't really know. Actually, I have I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know if we did what we needed to do. Like if we got the. It for sure felt like we were gonna have to do something else. Oh, I wonder. Maybe these or like yeah. <gasps> yeah okay got it okay let's try this one oh that one was 1916 I don't know if that have to be in the order like the dates that they are since 1845. And this one is 1801. Okay. Got it. So... Cool. Let's go over to that wall that's on, like, the far side there, and let's go see if we can put in the right combination. Uh, where's the wall? There it is. Alright, so the first one I have is the triangle with the swirlies. That's this guy. The next one, which, that was 1801. The next one is 1845, and that's this one. The next one is 1916, which is this one. Whoa! That's a crazy complicated mechanism. Okay. Oh, sheep! Hi, sheep! I wonder if I'm gonna have to herd these sheep, man. Farmer John is gonna be like, "Get my sheep out! You gotta herd them back here." I can feel it already, dude. All right. 
This is over on this side of the castle. Okay, nothing there that I'm aware of. But uh, why does it lead back here then? Okay. Maybe it's just like a back door from the castle. Like, if you were leaving the castle, you'd be going this way. Oh, what's this? This feels spooky. <gasps> ah, we found the other cog! Sweet. What the hell is happening here? What the heck? When a sheep enters woolly no more? Oh, is this like a sheep shaver? <laughs> when a sheep enters the station, the microchip implanted beneath its skin will display its group, color, and family on the screen. Carefully observe the emotional state of the sheep. Then use the chart below to determine the group, color, family, and emotion values. Add the three values and enter the sum into the Wooly No More V6 program to program the correct cut. Press the shear button to commence shearing. Angry, bleeding, calm, happy, or panicked. Group color. Blue, brown, green, red, yellow. Family burn. Dolly, Keen, Quinn, Ronan. So maybe it's just like lots of people sheeps out here. Okay. Do we need wool for something? Oh, the person who lives in the hut didn't have any wool. Uh, their wool bin was empty. So I'm sure we're not going to have whatever puppet we need to finish that puzzle. And so we're going to need to... Did I, did I get a sheep in there? Did I, how do you even get the sheep in there? <laughs> oh, this is so silly, but I love it. Okay, uh, let's go this one. This is like a big area. Oh, is that, that path doesn't really look like it led anywhere. Let's try this one. Oh, is this a big tree? What's that? Is that like a bird or an owl or something? Oh. Okay, sheep paddock. Parking lot here. Golf course starts here. Ward stones. Old bridge. Look into permits for diverting the river. Condo unit A, condo unit B, Castle Malloy, main road, gardens. So somebody wants to... Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, somebody ah. wants to develop this place. Oh, I don't... I, do I have anything for you, buddy? Here. Would you like some uh, shiny glasses? Uh, a shiny lantern? Uh, um, would you like this? You want the ring? What do you want? Um, I don't know if it's just supposed to be scary. Or if I can, like, leave it something. Trying to see if there's anything else that my thing is lighting up. I don't see anything, but we'll keep our... We'll try to remember that there's a crow in a tree. <laughs> Nancy's just like out here chasing sheep around. I'm not meaning to chase them, but. Alright, so this must go to the ward stones. Okay, this one's so cool. Oh, so we'll have to find. Oh, shooting star. Okay, these look like constellations. These are seasons, right? Winter, spring, summer, fall, because all the leaves are falling. And this is, I don't know what this is. Okay, so it's, I mean, a constellation, a time of the year, and 
something else, which, okay, fall, or winter, winter, fall, summer, spring. Okay, instead of the other way around. All right, so there's the constellations. Seasons were marked by the setting and rising of these constellations against the position of the sun. Uh, okay. I don't think we have whatever information we need to do this puzzle yet, but we will keep it in mind. Alright. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do the gear puzzle though, because we do have the gear now. So we should have enough to do that puzzle. Which I think is in study down here. Let's see. You have a lead? Mostly yeah. I have a question. Do you know anything about this sketch? I found it outside. It looks like a drawing for some kind of housing development for the land the castle sits on. Apparently Kit did them. Did Wait, how does she know Kit? To? Oh, it's on Kit's paper. No, and I seriously doubt Ooh. Matt did either. Mm -hmm. Kit must have done those on his own. The question is, why? Anyway, I thought of something else anyway. you can do for me. Since there's a possibility, however remote, that there are forces at work around here that none of us completely understands, I think it only prudent to do what I can to counteract them. To that end, I would like to include these herbs and flowers in my wedding bouquets. Okay. According to Irish law, each of them is believed to be associated with things I could use a little more of right now. Fair enough. If you could pick them for me and put them in that vase over there, that would be wonderful. Here's a basket. Cool. This, of course, means that in spite of I should have taken pictures whatever of that it was book. I saw in the nursery, I still believe there will indeed be a wedding, because no matter who or what took Matt, you're going to find him, Nancy. I have to believe that. Please don't let me down. I won't, girl, I got you. I'll catch you. you later. Good luck. I still don't know what's going on with the green screen portion of my camera. Hang on just a second. Let me see. What in the world is happening? Alright. Oh, now I'm the banshee. Oi, oi. Eh, close enough. Alright. I tried. I attempted. That doesn't look terrible. Okay. Okay, so we will need to go back, though, um, into the bog. I'm really hoping that they won't have me do that stupid walk through the bog puzzle again. I'm really, really hoping it'll just take me straight there, since Nancy clearly knows how to do the thing. All right. Uh, okay, so one, two, or is it just one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to back out for just a second. Let me see if it's not still in my inventory. Okay, so I must have all the pieces because I found one more of each gear. All right. <sighs> the problem is remembering. I think it was, was it this one? 
it was like this one. There was one thing where it was like only like three different positions possible. And we realized that they do have to alternate. So it's either this one, this one, or this one. Um. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, I'll just go there for now. Gotta be so careful not to click the bottom of the screen. Alright, so... I don't even know if there would be a benefit to it being here. This doesn't really interact with anything. Not except for there. Okay. Um, this one needs a spring or a gear. That one. Okay. Uh, let's do that and that maybe. No. I think this one might be a little... This is not beneficial. So is this, this, or this? There we go. Alright. Now, I remember that being easy enough. Now the whole bottom mess. This is just shenanigans happening here. That should do. Maybe. Okay, so this is the problem up here. Right? Otherwise, that looks really good. Right, let's get this out of here. There were, what, three places I said? This, this. And then I think it was here, but now that that's there. can't put anything in there, but maybe I can connect this over here somehow. Alright. Let's work on this top corner here. Now the problem was, it was what? It was here, but it wasn't connecting. Could do that, and then... No. Alright. So, small gear only fit here, here, or here. And if the gear is there... Okay. Unless it doesn't have to go small to big, but I believe that it does. Right? Because I can't... That's, that's to connect with this one over here. 
I can't put a big gear anywhere over here near this big one. Same thing over here, I'm pretty sure I can't. Okay. So the thing is, if the small gear is here, then there's nowhere I can place this big gear to interact with it. So then it really has to be here or here. Did we say that didn't work? Is that what the problem was previously? For some reason, even though they're touching, that doesn't work. And that was the only place, aside from here, that I could put it. That doesn't really seem to be beneficial at all. And this doesn't work. So it can't be there. It has to be here. It has to be here. Okay. Right? Okay. That, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm liking this. Can we do this or something? No, okay. Um. Oh, it's ads time, but you're not missing anything exciting. Don't worry, I promise not to solve it while you all are on the ad break. <sighs> I don't think that's possible. Ugh. Yeah, see, don't worry. Ads are over. 
And I told you, you weren't gonna miss anything. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay. This is literally, like, I think the only configuration that I can attach this gear to anything else. Let's see from our starting point. Okay, we literally have any of these. Can I... go up somehow? Yeah, I won't do it. I can't do that. This seems like nonsense. Okay, but I can do that. And this. Then I would need like a large one here, right? To connect those, because I can't. Yeah. So really this one has to have here, 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 there, or one of those three. Okay, so it's either here or here. That's what I had before, but I don't know. Question is, how do these connect? Do they connect down this way? Do they connect up and around like a circle? Well, like I said, I couldn't connect this to like anything else now. So it would have to be needs to be a hole here. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I put this little gear anywhere? What would I do? And then what would I do? Nothing.
so close. It's like not quite right though. Is that it? Oh! Oh! Finally! Why- why are there so many of these? Am I gonna have to solve that puzzle, like, a lot of different ways? Because there's not only these two, but the other one. <laughs> Alright. Let's go find some herbs, because I feel like that's something we can do. And also talk to Kit about why he's got all these suspicious drawings. Excuse me, sir. What's going on? I found the sketch you did on the ground outside. What's it for? A what, that? I was just messing around. See, I'm into real estate, and whenever I see an interesting tract of land, I like to sketch out how I'd develop it. Just to, you know, keep the mm -hmm. juices flowing. It doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. I was just doodling. Great, so it's okay if I keep this. Uh, sure. Go right ahead. Okay. That could be possibly true. Have you ever been to the little hut that's in the middle of the bog? No. Don't tell me you've been traipsing through the bog. Are you nuts? That stuff's like quicksand. You just gotta watch your step, but this. Did Matt ever try to cross the bog? The only thing Denal ever said that made sense to Matt was stay away from the bog. And he did. And you'd be well advised to do See, the same. See, I wonder if he says stay away from the bog because that's where Denal lives. Like, unless he stays at the cabin, which I truly have no idea. But I feel like that's Good his house. Good talking to you. Possibly. Drop by anytime. I will. I will drop by any time. Okay. Back to the bog, back to the bog. Back to the bog, back to the bog. Because I don't remember what some of these things look like. Bog, bog, bog. Buggy bog. bog. I said a bog, 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 bog. Okay. Hopefully. Good. Thank you, Nancy Drew, game developers. Also, is there anything else to look out? Cause uh, look at outside here, because I feel like that is something that I would miss. It was just like, oh, cool, spooky house. Let's go inside, and then miss some kind of like clue or something on the outside. Oh, my green screen is doing its thing again. I'm just not gonna worry about it, y'all. I don't have it in me to fix it. Oh wait, which ones did we need? <laughs> Fox glove. Let me get my uh, my phone out here. My cheaty cheaty phone. All right, fox glove. Uh, there. Okay, yarrow, lavender, larkspur, rose. Okay. Cause like I know what lavender looks like, but I don't know what it looks like in this game. Uh, yarrow. Feels really weird to put fox glove in. Uh, a wedding bouquet. Oops. Rose. Larkspur. Alright, let me just make sure. Let's see. Okay. Larkspur. Rose. Foxglove. Yarrow. Lavender. Okay. Lavender. Yarrow. Foxglove. Foxglove. Yeah. Rose. Spur. So I need Vervain and Sage. Okay, Vervain, this is yellow one. And then... Sage is the top one, the dried herb. Okay. Alright, let's grab... The, I'm guessing that's the Sage. Okay. And then... So we'll go wander around and find the rest. Alright, nothing else here that I see. 
Let me just double check that it's not... Yep, foxglove. I was like, here at the uh, bog entrance, that that's a sneaky one. Alright, so Sage we got. I'm gonna delete that photo. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's go look at the crosses. Where are we? Nope. Oh, there's the garden. Let's check out the garden. Because this looks like yarrow. No? Oh, roses. Okay. So I got the roses. Okay. Uh, let's go over to those, like, that weird stone thing. There's still a well out here. Isn't there, like, a, a ring of stones or something? Yeah. That one's Vervain. Got it. here. I love the like crazy flute player in the background. Um, it's just like the castle walls. Is there anything by the castle doors? No, it's just up close on the doors. I don't know if we can still check. Yeah, the wall here. See anything here? Do we still need Larkspur? Oh wait, we got Foxglove. Larkspur, Yarrow, and Lavender. Three purple flowers. I'll bet one is maybe near the gate. Although, maybe while I'm over here, I should just go through and check. Forgot there were sheep over here. They scared me. anything over here. I don't we'll see anything inside. Okay. Is there something else up here? No, that just goes over towards the castle. Yep. wailing just oh wait was that a flower a very well hidden yeah I hear it eerie wailing it's probably just like the crow again that's what it really sounds like to me It's just the crow. I wonder if there's also anything near, like, in town, near the, uh, the restaurant or whatever it is. Is there anything else out here? Does that look like something on the ground? <laughs> Alright, let's go check by the front gates and see what we can find. Let me just check how many we needed. Oh, nice. Okay, Lavender, Larkspur, Vermin. Yeah, we still have three left. Okay. 
Oh, I wonder if there's some like by the car, maybe? Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do, Nancy. Yes. All right, that's... Uh, for, that's Yarrow. Okay. So now we just need Larkspur and Lavender. There's more purple flowers on, like, stems. Not those. Those are everywhere. Looks like this. I want this. Are still doing its thing. This game has such like a cool, spooky atmosphere. I really like it. What's on your mind then? Mm. What do you know about the stone pillars with all the weird writing on them? I've mm. never been able to make heads or tails of them. Even bought me a book on Oum runes. Waste of good money that was. Oum runes. All those lines. Ancient oh, Celtic the symbols they sets, are. Maybe? Rules. Spell out something. Oh. I lack the time and patience to work out just what. I wouldn't mind having a go yeah, at it. Yeah, I think give I could borrow your book. book. Give me the book. Sorry give to say, I'm not in a lending mood at the moment, lass. A wee drum bit of music. my favorite drum music would put me right, but the band can't be playing it because their drummer took sick. Ah, looking ah. for someone to take his place, they are. I could probably fill in. I mean, not permanently, but... Go to it, then. Nancy, you played the One Geralt? Play it well enough, and the book will be yours. Seamus will help you get started. Uh-huh. What a fine lass you are for helping out the band. Now here's what you do. Watch the cue. When it reaches the drum, just hit the corresponding uh, the section top, of the bow ring okay. with the beater. Keep doing that till the song's over. And if you've kept the beat well enough, the band will split their tips Ooh, with you. Would you like They're tips? about to start. Just watch the bar. Keep your wits about ya, and you'll do fine. Great, got this. Let's go. Uh, what? Okay. Okay, I can do it. <laughs> Sorry. This is going terribly. Oh my gosh. Nancy. I thought I actually had to move. Oh. To move my mouse. And I was like, there's no way I can hit them that fast. I'm doing it with the arrow keys and the space bar now. I also just noticed they have the arrows in the uh, symbols. Okay, I could probably do better on that uh, now that I see the, <laughs> the cues. Wow. To do with some practice. That won't do, lass. Let me try again. I see it now. We're good. Okay. All right. Here we go. Very forgiving. Okay, is that better? Did I do better? Brilliant! 
Oh. Here's your share of the tips. <sighs> Thank you. Sweetest Thank you, really hard. clover to the honeybee. Was it? Was, Here's was it the book. Keep it as long as you like. I will not soon have need of it. <sighs> will you be wanting something else from me then? I'll let you drink your crow's nest in peace. Not unless you know Good where I can find you. larkspur or lavender. Let's take a look at this book real quick. The Ancient Celtic Sabbaths, being a short history and description of the four major Sabbaths compiled together with a diagram of the, what did he call it, Ohm Alphabet, withdrawn from the property of the Baylor Township Public Library. So it must have been an old book from the library they took out of circulation. Uh, by Thomas O'Carrollin, Professor of Primitive Irish Studies, Dublin Irish University Press, 1872. Ancient Celtic society lived by the celestial skies and the sun, moon, and stars to find their calendar year and celebrations. Though the summer and winter solstices were honored, the four major Sabbaths, or festivals, were the midpoints between solstice and equinox. These four celebrations were Samhain, Imbolc, Beltane, and Lasagna. Lunasa. Uh, because true written language did not appear in Ireland until the 6th century AD, no Celtic historical text detailing the celebrations exist. The Roman traditions huh, were instead passed on orally by bards in the 4th century AD. An early version of the written word appeared in the Ohm alphabet. Known as primitive, oh no, now as primitive Irish, it contained 20 letters split into four groups of five letters, marked by a series of notches on a straight line. Examples of Oum inscriptions can still be seen today in the stone ruins all across Ireland. Written on the page, the letter, letters read left to right, but on a stone marker they read from bottom to top. This alphabet eventually gave way to Old Irish, ancestor of today's modern Irish, and written manuscripts finally began to appear. However, with centuries of history already passed, many of the ancient Celtic beliefs and traditions were never transcribed. What other secrets the four major Sabbaths may have held have been lost forever. Samhain? I don't know if these are pronounced. I, I think all Irish words are pronounced not the way they appear, the, the way the letters appear in English, I think is, is very different from how these words are actually pronounced. Uh, it is the start of the Celtic New Year and the dark half of the year. The Celts believed that dark preceded light with the beginning, uh, with the day beginning at dusk. Observed on November 1st, Samhain was the precursor to All Hallows' Eve, or Halloween as it's now called. Okay. Uh, it is also the time of the year when the veil between the world of the living and the other world is at its thinnest. Places were set at the feast table for the dead as inhabitants from either world could cross the boundaries on this night. All home hearth fires were extinguished to signal the closing of the year. A new bonfire was then ignited, heralding the new year's beginning and fresh start. Individual firebrands were lit from its flames and taken back to relight the hearth, and the new year the new year in the coming winter had been ushered in. In bulk honored Brigide, the goddess of poetry, smithcraft, and healing. Translated as in the belly, symbolizing the spring lambs that would soon be born, the, Cel the Cel a celebration took place on February 1st or 2nd. A festival of the hearth and home in modern times is now known as St. Brigid's Day. Uh, the traditional lighting of the candles represented the imminent return of the sun and all its warmth. Beltane, the precursor to May Day, was celebrated on the full moon nearest the midpoint between the vernal equinox and summer solstice, typically near or on May 1st. This festival celebrated the start of the light half of the year and the beginning of the pastoral summer season. It, as the fertility festival, it honored life. Like Samhain, the boundary between the worlds was thin enough to cross on this night. To provide protection, twin bonfires were kindled from nine sacred woods. Livestock was driven between these fires for purification against disease and to bring luck in the coming months. Firebrands were again taken from the bonfires to relight the hearths at home. Lunasa announced the first harvest and the autumnal harvest to come around August 1st as the fruits began to ripen. This festival was celebrated with dancing and games. It was also a favorite time for hand fasting. These traditional marriages lasted for a year and a day at which the at which time the couple could either end the relationship or formalize it with a permanent marriage. Interesting. Alright, so what we need is this one. Let me grab a quick picture. And the re Written bottom to top. So let's go ahead and check that out. Be Excuse me. 
Because if we can read the bottom, maybe it indicates what symbols we need to put on the top. At least that's what I'm hoping. There were multiple. Okay. Um. Okay, let's just try and do this one. One, two. Is that five? It's so hard to see how many this top one is supposed to be. This one, two, three, four. I think that's five on the right. Oh, wait. No, I need to start at the bottom. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um. 20 letters, four groups of five letters. Okay. Um, all right, so the bottom one is four on the right, which is S. Uh, one across the middle is A. Oh, this one must be Sam Hine. S-A-M is the diagonal. And then H-A, yeah, I-N. Okay. So we need to, what, like, match up... Sam Hine, fall, and then, like, a fall or like what would the uh, constellation be at that time winter fall summer okay um they said that was the constellation October 31st or is it November they said November 1st so Libra so the triangle with uh, two things coming off of it is that an option no. Okay. Maybe start with what is an option? Which one's this one? Oh, that's the other one. Taurus. That would be... I don't know. Okay, Leo. Now the problem is, is it constellation or astrological? The astronomical zodiac no longer corresponds with the astro astrological zodiac. So while Aries reign is noted in astrology as March 21st to April 20th, constellation itself is actually visible during Taurus's reign. Okay, so we want... Do we want the astrological... That would be Scorpius. That would be that one. <laughs> um, okay, we also had Leo, which would encompass um, April for, or August 1st. So what does this one say? L U G. So this one's Lu Lunasa. Right, isn't that the that's the fall one? Oh, is that the fall one? Did I have it wrong? No. No, Lunasa's the summer one, right? This must be in bulk, the Easter one. Uh, Easter, that'd probably be Taurus, or was it May Day or something like that? That one? Winter. Must be that one. And. B E L this is Beltane. I don't know. Oh. Did I just never look down at this? What? Okay. Uh 
Oh, hang on. Got it. Okay. Okay, so in our book, though, we have winter, fall, summer, spring. So we need to fix all of these. So is this winter then? Is this my starting point at the top and then I circle around? Okay. Winter was which one? bulk okay that must be this one february 1st or 2nd in bulk so that's beltane okay that's in bulk winter and whatever encompasses february 1st or 2nd yeah aquarius Okay, so that's that one. All right, so then down, and if I go this way, this one is fall. So let's make this fall. Let's make this... Uh, Sam Hein. And let's make it not a Leo. Scorpius. Okay. Okay, this one is spring, I'm guessing, with all the flowers. So, spring, and this was, um, probably gonna be the Taurus constellation, and that's the May Day one. Which one was May Day? Beltane? May Day, okay. So, that's Beltane, May Day, and Taurus. Okay, and we need this one to be Lunasa. Lunasa, okay, and it has to be summer. Wait, it's spring. It's fall, that's summer. Or, no, is this spring? That's summer, maybe? They said it was August 1st, so Leo. This one's Leo. Okay. I think I may have done that wrong, then. That one's summer. Oh, no. Please tell me I didn't mess that up. Uh, this one's in bulk, which is winter. Okay. Um, fall. Sam Hine and the Scorpius. This one, spring, because it looks like the leaves are maybe just starting to bud. And Taurus and Bel Beltane. And then the Leo, Summer, and Lunasa. Is that right? Or have I got the wrong starting position? I don't know which one to start with, I guess, is the pro- Oh, should I have started at the beginning of the year? Like, should I have started with Sam Hine because that's the start of the Celtic New Year? summer one. Summer is Lunasa and Leo. Okay. This one really does look like spring though, right? With the flowers, but that may not mean anything. Um, 
Because the last one I did was fall, so this would have to be winter. No, fall. Summer. No, that's the one I just did. So I'm sp it, this one's spring. Spring is... What have I done? What did I do here? Summer. Okay, fall. Summer. Spring. And spring... Is spring Taurus? Spring is Taurus. Okay. And it's Beltane. Okay. So then I just need to change this one. Uh, winter. So this one's supposed to be winter. Winter. And that's... In, in bulk, in bulk, and that's Aquarius. I feel like I've got the right idea. I'm just not understanding something. I don't I don't know what I don't understand. It feels like you would start with this. No can here? Better? Okay. Feels like everything looks okay on my end. And if you have trouble hearing the game, it's just like vague wind blowing noise, so. What am I not getting here? This one was the start of the Celtic New Year and the dark half of the year. And in bulk, and then Beltane, and then Lunasa. Is the fall? Wait, Lunasa is the summer. Okay, so Sam Hine. Fall, right? Yeah, November 1st would be like fall, I would think. Unless. In bulk. See, this is like spring lambs that would soon be born. Which makes me think that this is like. Do I have the things wrong? Like the seasons? In bulk, honored brigade. Uh, February 1st or 2nd. Is that one associated with spring? And then Beltane is like nearest to the vernal equinox, summer solstice, pastoral summer season. Okay. So maybe that's the start of the summer. Maybe I have the seasons off and this is the autumn. Okay. That might be true. Um, so I have Sam Hine, but it's, this is winter. And then it'll be winter, so fall, summer, spring. So this will be fall, which is Lunasa. This is the summer. And this is the spring. Spring is in bulk. Because then not only is it start of the new year here, but it's also winter. Which was at like the top of my diagram, not that one. Yeah, 
winter, fall, summer, spring. So I've got winter, fall. Oh, I don't have to look down. Summer, fall, summer, spring. Then why can I look down? Is this giving me information? It really does feel like this one needs to be spring, aside from collecting flowers. Should this one have been spring? I don't know, I don't understand. It, oh, okay. So I need larkspur, so that was lavender. Points between the solstice and the equinox. Precursed are all Hallows Eve. Signal the closing of the year, new bonfire ignited. Symbolizing like the spring. And then this one, the summer solstice, beginning of the summer season. And then this one is autumn. Okay. So it should be Sam Hine and then. Lunasa, and then Beltane, and Imbolc. Okay, so Taurus would be the summer. Let me just double check that I've got that right. Taurus is the summer. Unless I've got these images wrong. And this one's summer, but it doesn't look like it. And this one is... Hi, Wade Star Witcher! We are... struggling. <laughs> We're attempting to do a puzzle that I feel like I have all the information for and I'm just not figuring out. So we have we have the this set of four stones here. I'm gonna back up. We have a set of like four stones here. Um, each stone, when you look at it, has a constellation, uh, a tree that marks the season. So I'm thinking that this is summer. That one's spring. I think maybe fall and winter. I could have summer and spring backwards. I think this one's spring though. Um, and then underneath we have some runes. So we learned what the runes are, and they're all related to these ancient Celtic uh, Sabbaths or holidays, I guess. Um, so Samhain, uh, Imbolc, Beltane, and Lunasa. And so just trying to match up. Uh, this is Samhain, and it looks like it was associated with the winter. And that would be Scorpio. Let me just double check to make sure I didn't get that wrong. Scorpius, right? Because the holiday fell on November 1st. But then down at the bottom, there's like this symbol. And this it says this was the New Year celebration. So I thought it would start here. And then we have this where it says winter, fall, summer, spring. So as I go to the left, this would be fall. So I have fall. I have Leo and I have Lunasa, which is like the fall harvest celebration, uh, which happens August 1st. And then I have Taurus, which takes place at in trees, spring begin to bloom, showing signs of not being played. Yeah, okay. So I have them right. So then I have, um, this is Beltane, which I put during the summer. 
because the book said uh, summer solstice festival celebrated the start of the light half of the year and the beginning of the pastoral summer season and then I have I think that's Taurus which it was celebrated on May 1st so that's May 1st um, and then I have this one which is in bulk which it said was like the spring celebration of like spring and spring lambs and stuff so I have spring and then I have, I think that's Aquarius. Perhaps, the, why would this cycle be transcribed wrong? And the seasons don't go in that. I mean, I know the seasons don't go in that order, but why would it be, why would the game tell me this and then do something different? That legit does not make sense for a Nancy Drew game. So the only thing I can figure is that I just got the starting point wrong. I don't know. It's it's super odd. Like I feel like I have all the pieces. I don't know if that has something to do with like the rocks. One, two. Or if it's just to let you know. And like this one has like all the flowers. I don't know. Celebration of Midsummer occurred around the summer solstice as well. June 23rd to 24th is also called Midsummer Night. Yeah. I just... I'm clearly just not getting it right for this puzzle. I'm back out for a second. Right? See? And so here... Like, the way it's laid out in the diagram, here is where this thing is. Right? So if this is what it would be, then... And if it exactly followed the diagram here, winter would be the top one. Winter, fall, summer, spring. Right, so I've got... Here where the... Yeah, here where the plaque is. Winter, fall, summer, spring. Nor the eerie wailing. So I feel like I've got it right, but nothing happened. Which makes me think that there is something wrong. Nancy can't escape. <sighs> yeah, nobody likes you, ghosty. No time for you. No time for you. We also still need to find one more. Oh, I didn't really want to click on that. We still need one more plant. Uh, Kyler wants us to gather some flowers, and we still need some larkspur, which is like purpley ones, like a long stem with purplies. Unless you can't see what happened in this location. Yeah, sounds like a freaking banshee. That's weird. And, but like, there's no indicator. It's not like, um, like Nancy didn't give any verbal indication or anything that something happened somewhere. Um, which leads me to believe that I have not yet solved it. Because Nancy Drew games are very good about, like, A, once you do it, you can't undo it. Uh, which I can still edit the puzzle solution, essentially. Um, I don't think I- did I get any flowers in the garden? Oh yeah, I got the roses. Right, I turned around and I got a rose. So, I don't... Oh, is there something over here? I may have gotten something over here earlier, but I'm making sure there's no, like, flowers. Oh, that's right, the... What was it that was here? Um, her vows that she was writing that were all, like, scratched out. Like, this isn't right. Alright, nothing back here. Yeah. Nothing by the well. And there's whatever is happening up here, this like circle of something. And we had gotten the yellow plant from here, and I don't see any purple plants. I wonder if that's all that is, is just a place to get flowers? That seems unlikely. Okay, and that's that.
Is this anything? No. Uh, I checked by the crosses. The I don't see anything. Um, I don't see any plants here. Try going back. I don't want to walk into the bog accidentally. That was the fox glove. We already got that one. And there's nothing out here. Let me just double check that they don't have any inside. Although the only thing that they really seem to have here, what did I need? Larkspur? It's not even here. Um, the only thing they had here was the sage, which was dried. Which makes sense. Yeah, there's no wool in this wool basket, which makes me think we're gonna have to shear some, shear some sheep. We don't have any kind of key. see any other plants in here. So if you're solving puzzles like a boss, you running back and forth all around the exalted plains and what is DA? Is it DA one? I? I'm sure it's an abbreviation for a game title. Dragon Age Inquisitions? Is that or is it just Dragon Age 1? I've never played any of the Dragon Age. Oh wait, wasn't I- couldn't I go down here somewhere or something? No? I'm just imagining that. <sighs> okay. Actually, let's take a look inside the castle now that I think about it. Cause like in the nursery and stuff, there was um, like vines everywhere and everything was like cracked. So maybe there's some flowers somewhere else. I don't actually have to like pick them, pick them. Oh, I thought he was gone for a second. Dragon Age Inquisition. Cool. I've only heard of them. I've never actually played any of them, but you know, it, it, running around like a chicken with your head cut off happens. Happens to the best of us. Uh, all right. No, all the plants here look super dead. I still don't have enough. Pop See now this, th yeah, I have like three whole pages of this. So which one am I supposed to do? All three of them? But I'm still missing stuff. Right? I still need like two more puppets. <laughs> not an Nancy- No, I know it's not a Nancy Drew game. We have all three of them? Oh. I'm assuming they're part of your library because I don't- I have never paid attention. Okay. Well, shoot. I thought maybe with all the vines coming in here, there would be like, oh, here's some whatever thing it was. Do more tavern games? I could do more tavern, but that's not gonna get me anywhere. And I really wanna get up here. Which I still can't do. I don't really need money for anything. Let me go check in here. Okay. Going after crystal shards, retaking ramparts, soft search for letters left by dead soldiers. Gotta go back to get the elves trust. Use a glitch you found to get into an elven crypt since you don't want to desecrate the graves, but you need what's inside. Oh, do more tavern games for more dolls? Possibly? Although we already got one doll and I don't think it's multiple dolls. If that makes sense. Right, let's just that. I did this puzzle. I did this puzzle. Oh, this is this where she wanted the flowers in the vase? I don't have them all yet. Don't forget to pick those flowers for me. I won't, I promise. 
I'm trying. I'll let you get I just back don't to know where reading. to find the last one. As soon and as you find out anything, let me know. I feel like the air is like blowing directly on me in the office. So chilly. Alright, uh, I don't see anything up here anywhere. Uh, give me another fortune. I would like a fortune. Please tell me it's like where I can find something. What's this one say? Baldo! <laughs> uh Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. Uh, alright. Real quick, hang on. I didn't notice really, but all the pictures, I just took pictures of the, um, whatchamacallum. I just took pictures of the flowers and their, like, name and their picture. But what I didn't do was actually read the book. I wanted to make a joke about this being an elaborate plank plan for, this, for the guy to get out of marriage at the same time. I'm scared I may be right and then I'll feel bad for making that joke. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what this is. I really don't. I'm not sure what's happening. Okay. So sage, a dried herb that should always be kept on hand. And it was. It was hanging just above us. Lavender, by the base of the stones that reach towards the sky. We just found this one um, by those four stones that we were at. Uh, Larkspur, marking an end to the road less traveled. That's the one we need. Rose, no garden is complete without at least one bush. We found those in the garden. Foxglove, loves the rich hummus. Does he hummus? Hum 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 hummus? Soil of the marshy peat, and that one we found by the bog. Vervain, oh, it's ads. Okay, Vervain welcomes all those who an enter the land of Malloy, and that was by the gate. Yarrow brightens the ring where good people gather. We found that by the ring. Okay. Marking an end to the road less traveled. End the road less. What's the road less traveled? Is it one of these pathways? Ads. The road less traveled. This one? Because you couldn't get through here? Or is it visually the least traveled? This one looks heavily traveled. As the enemy of the free peoples of Middle Earth. Wait, check that. The enemy of the free peoples of middle cardboard spaceship Earth. <laughs> I like it. Well, welcome back, everybody, from ads. Um, okay, so what I was saying, and this may have gotten cut off, but next to each entry in the um, in the book, there's, like, the title of the flower, or the name of the flower, the picture of the flower, and then, like, a little blurb, and it gives you information on where to find it. This one says, Marking an End to the Road Less Traveled. So, like, 
My first thought was like the road less traveled was like one of these paths, but like the lightest of them. Oh no. Don't kill things on accident. That's not good. Look at these things. These sheep are driving me a little bit batty. Marking an end to the road less traveled. I don't see anything here. The road less traveled. Marking an end to the road less traveled. Let's go back to the other side. So I was guessing it was like one of these pathways. Alright, where's... Marking an end. Okay. Let's find this pathway side. Okay. Alright, so here we go. The road less traveled. This one goes to the bog. This just goes to the bog. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go this way. That's the garden. So this goes back down to the bog. Yeah. Also, the point where I feel like I'm gonna cry and start sobbing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. But you can't hear me because you're dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is this the road less traveled? Dude, where is this plant, man? Marking the end to the road less traveled. Or a, a road less traveled, I'm not sure. The road less traveled. Right, and this goes to the circle. We found the plant that was there. Marking the end to the road less traveled. I don't know if that is a song. In my mind, it's also that, like, in a poem by, by Robert Frost. Larkspur. Marking an end to the road less traveled. Marking an end. Is it to... Do I need to go to the end of the actual, like, road road? Because the other one was like welcoming people to Castle Malloy and it was like right here at the gates. Marking an end. Found it. Literally never would have ever walked down there. Okay, got all the flowers. I don't think a main road would be the road less traveled here, but sure. Sure. Especially when that's the direction we came from, I'm pretty sure. So it's very much traveled. Oh, shut up. This kid gone. Can we snoopy snoop? <laughs> What's that? Matt Simmons? That's his luggage? Is that his luggage? Is that Matt's luggage? Nope. Get out of here. Matt Simmons. Okay. So what? His luggage is still here. So he must still be here.
Okay. Interesting. 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 Okay. So Kit... We couldn't get... Uh... Country roads take me home <laughs> to the place I belong. <laughs> I love country roads. Um, I sing that song, not that song, but that tune, and I will put all some sketches I made because I was bored. I do that all the time. All sorts of lyrics to it. Then what are you after? Yeah, what are you Nothing. after? But why are you trying to tell me there's not going to be a wedding? Because Matt is gone. Matt would never walk out. His of luggage is still here. Never. He still loves you, Kyler, but he's not ready to get married, and he just didn't know how to tell you. Oh, so he told you to tell me, or was he leaving your idea? But what did you tell him, Kip? That I still have feelings for you. That it isn't over between us. Because it is. You know that, don't you? It is most definitely over. I better not go in there. Nancy, go in there. Nancy. Here, what if I go in here? And then if I turn around, will they be gone now? Hey, girl. Hey, girl, hey. You picked all the flowers? Yep. Go ahead and put them in that vase. Done. There you go. That's actually kind of pretty. Splendid. But... Anything else to report? I found Matt's luggage hidden behind the cots downstairs by Kit's things. How did it get down there? It kind of looked like Kit was hiding it. Oh, don't be silly. Why would Kit do a thing like that? Well, anyway, that's a good thing. Oh. It means Matt's still First around here, so. just as I've been saying. Iris's and peoples were gone. Anything else to report? <laughs> Nothing yet. Catch, you, catch later. you later. Good luck. Me hating it may have something to do with the fact that you're an Ohioan. Me and West Virginia don't always get along here in the southeast of North. Dang, the heat between us and Michigan is real. We hate them and they hate us. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Let's see. What's going on? I found Matt's luggage in here, right over there. What? Over where? It was behind the cots. How did it get there? Oh. Looks to me like someone oh, was trying to hide it. How did it get there? Well, it wasn't me. Matt hit it. Oh my gosh. He didn't go back to London. He's been here the whole time. Kyler was right. Oh my gosh. You sound kind of disappointed. Marrying Kyler is the biggest mistake he could possibly make. If this means that's what he intends to do, you bet I'm disappointed. What the heck is happening? I mean, like, is marrying Kyler the biggest mistake he could possibly make because you want to marry her? Even though she very clearly said, it's over. I heard it. I couldn't help it over here. It's I couldn't help it over here, the discussion you better and Kyler football had in the team. Library. Ah, okay. Uh, that sure didn't go like I planned. All this talk of fairy kidnappings and practical jokes. I just thought it was time to clear the air, but what happens? Not only did she accuse me of being the bad guy in all this, but as me. it turns out, she Not had me. it right, and I had it wrong. Matt didn't walk out on her. His luggage proves it. The part about you're still having feelings for her. Was she right about that too? Yeah. As for what, if anything, I'm going to do about it. I haven't quite figured that out. He still has the hots for Kyler! Okay. Even went so far as to accuse our team of using steroids. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. I don't know. I better I'm, get going. See I'm ya. not a big sports Drop by anytime. person. I can't just go snooping around. Not well, with Kit right, right there. Go snooping around. All right, well, now here's the problem, because uh, that didn't really seem to lead anywhere. <laughs> uh, I mean, cool. You have a lead? Yes, Kit still has feelings for you. What up I'm with that? I'm gonna go play detective now. No. <laughs> Anytime you want to talk, I'll be right here. Yeah, okay, all right. So we put some flowers in this vase. Only pay attention to funny feuds, otherwise couldn't care less. Sports ball, sports ball. Um, yeah, I, I never... 
pay much attention to sports, so I'd never, like, get wrapped up, up in that. But I know some people care, like, a lot, a lot about, like, football and, I don't know, stuff. I do like March Madness uh, because I think it's fun to do the little bracket thing and just write down whatever team you feel like because even the people who try and predict it, like, cannot predict it correctly. Um, and the chances of doing so are, like, ridiculous. So I think it's very fun to, like, I don't know do that um and i will be invested though in watching the olympics but that's like i was almost gonna say less competitive it's not less competitive but it's less the same exact teams every single time competing over and over multiple times throughout the year and it's like this is happening once every four years and it's the best people from countries all over the world um, so I will be, I will be very invested in that. Do I have any other puzzles in here? I did the otters. I'm trying to take stock of what I still have going on. I still have whatever this, this shenanigans is. Um, so this means to the side of a statue... It's less antagonistic, that's true. I mean, people, like, certainly I know people care and you should root for your country and that's great and all. Can I at least do one of these? Maybe, because I got pig and cat and blonde lady and this guy. I think I could maybe do at least one. So let's try this. Um, maybe it'll give us something. Okay. Um, this just says to the side of, but it doesn't say what side. Does it matter? Like the blue dash. So I'm trying to like put this guy in a place. Oh, okay. Well, hang on. This one, this cat has to be directly next to a statue. And it has to be directly above this guy. So this guy has to be next to a statue who has to be next to a lady who has to be next to a cow. No, that cow's not part of it. It's just that three. Okay, and the cat has to be to the side of the horse, sure. So we know that it has to be this statue, not any of the other statues. Okay. Uh, this horse has to be directly next to this pig. This pig has to be directly underneath this cow. Uh, this cat has to be directly above this, and this lady has to be directly next to this. Okay. Okay, let's try this one, because this one looks... Um, yeah. Okay. So this is to the side of, directly next to, above, directly above, above in any direction, to the side of, on any floor. Okay, so this just means this cat is above, is, is on the top floor somewhere. And the ladies on, or the cows on the next floor, and the ladies on the next floor, but it can be anywhere. Okay. Um, I wonder if to the side of means that side. Like this thing has to be, this like puppy dog thing has to be on the left side of the cat, but it could be anywhere. Um. Okay, chandelier has to be directly next to pig. So, pig has to be there, right? Chandelier, pig. Pig has to be directly next to statue. Got it. Only sports you actively get involved in are animal sports. Strip around, dog shows, things like that. Um, yeah, I know. Triple crowns are great. Uh, I grew up in Maryland, so I've watched a lot of the Preakness. Um, and my mom is one of those people who has Kentucky Derby parties, uh, first Saturday in every May. So horse racing. And we also, uh, I grew up on a horse farm. We used to rescue off the track thoroughbreds. And so horse racing has always been like a really big thing. Dog shows are just a lot of fun. I, I enjoy watching those because you're like, yes, all of these are good dogs. One of them is apparently better than the other, but I don't know why. I like watching dog agility stuff. I think that's so fun. <laughs> okay. Chandelier directly next to pig. Pig directly next to statue. 
statue nearby uh, this cat thing. Cat thing has to be to the side of this cat. This puppy dog? I don't know what that is. That thing has to be direct to the side of this thing on any floor, which it is. Um, this cat is next to this doll, right? Because that's as close as it can be on that same floor. Um, if the cat's on this floor, oh, this, and then she has to be below somewhere, but she has to be on the bottom floor. And the cow has to be somewhere in the middle. The cow must be directly next to the man. But the man must, or no. Yes, the cow must be directly next to the man. And the man has to be directly above this purple puppy. Okay. We're crushing it. All right, now we've just got this crazy one. Now see here, this doll I'm missing. I'm missing this. Otherwise, I've got the cat, purple puppy, cow, blonde lady, pig. Tuesday, Tuesday, Silver Leo Wolf, welcome to the stream. God, I've got everybody else except for this scary thing. I don't think it's the tavern games. We already got a doll from there, and I don't think that is going to give us more than one doll. I really think that we need... I'm pretty sure this is the outfit that's in the hut in the middle of the bog. Also, I don't know what I'm doing with this Le Lapin Bleu. Because I can't like open it or anything and I don't remember doing this as a puzzle. Is that important? No, I know tavern games are a ton of fun, but I'd also like to make progress. <laughs> right? Because it has that like weird patchwork outfit. I'm positive that's what's in. Ugh the thing in the hut progress is good it's good for you feels good I'm frustrated by that those statues though because like I said I really do believe I have enough information to solve that puzzle will I ever get to meet who lives here See, look, it's, it's the sheep same... doll needs stuffing. Yeah, sheep, that's what it is? To stuff that sheep doll, I'm going to need more wool. Oh, I'm going to make this. I All right. Okay, so I got to make a sheep doll, and I got to stuff it. But nobody lives here, which means I need to go shear some sheep. Shear sheep is, for some reason, a little bit hard to say. Okay, let's go shear sheep. Three out of seven dead sold le soldier letters. Can't wait to be done with this. Search quests are tough. Alright. Now how do how do I get sheep into the sheep o matic <laughs> Over here. Right? Okay. We've recognized now that we need sheep. How do I when a sheep enters the station? How does one get a sheep to enter the sheep o matic The woolly no more. <laughs> it's something. Wooly no more. V6. The sheep sheepomatic. How do I call the sheep? Do I chase a sheep in here? Do I have to ask someone about the sheep? How does one here is there like an intake? A sheep intake aside? <laughs> one... How does one yeah, that's why I need a little lassie. How does one get sheep in here? Yeah. Hi, sheepies. Here. Go. Go that way. Like, it just disappeared. Where did that sheep go? Oh. No. Eh. Did I get it? Did you go into the sheep o -matic? There's no sheep in the sheep o -matic. Alright, maybe I need to ask somebody like Donald or somebody about the sheep o -matic. Maybe Nancy just needed to realize that she needed wool first. Let's go see if we can talk to Donal.
What's on your mind then? Oh, this. Would yeah, you by sure. any chance know how Matt's luggage wound up? Oh yeah, did he hide it maybe call? to give her like? That I would. Uh -huh. I put it there. I told the Sassnach he was not to stay in Fiona's room, yet he did nonetheless. So while he was out with the others, I took his bags and hid okay. them, thinking to farce him to leave her room. Wasted time that was. Turns out the good people had something else in mind. Good at finding things, are ya? As a matter of fact, yeah, I'm, I'm very good at finding things. Got something for you then. A key? Oh, she the sheep pin. The sheep I'm keeping on the castle grounds need bringing in so I can shear them first thing tomorrow. You want me to bring them in? There's Ugh. ten of them is all. With that lantern of yours, you'll be done before you know. Go on now, take it. Where the hell's the sheep pen? Just walk the grounds, and whenever you come upon oh. a sheep, blow a whistle, and back they'll go to the barn. When you think all ten are in, go to the barn and make sure, then lock the place up, and that'll be that. Don't be looking at me like I've got three heads, lass. What? You can do it. Out with you now. There's work to be Go done. Go to the barn and make sure. Okay, all right. So I just... What, do I have a whistle? Did you, sir, did you give me a whistle? Do not. Do not. Or do I just whistle and you assume I can whistle? It's like I can. Like... Uh, but it's not very, like, loud. Rather use those sheep and shepherd's pie. Thank you very much. I got one from the games. <gasps> I do. I had forgotten about that. Okay. The well, good news is I have a sheep counter. <laughs> okay. Where are you? gift. This game is a gift. Alright, what are y'all hiding on? Like the north side of the map? Oh. <laughs> Dude, where's my sheep? Sheep still. Where that sheep at? Did I get it? I don't think I got it. Sheepies. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. Oh. Sure, there's not one hiding up here somewhere. No. Okay. Alright. sport Nancy is. It's like, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll wrangle some sheep. Got one more to find. Ha 
Ha ha ha! All right. Now I got all the sheep in the barn. How do I lock? There. There. Paddock's okay. All locked up. Okay, but I can't sheep a mattock yet. All right, fine. Okay, it's all locked. Cool. So I guess I should probably go tell Denal. And at least every time I walk through here, I don't have to hear crazy sheep noises <laughs> anymore. Maybe, he, I don't know if he'll care. Maybe he'll give me something. Cause he was like, I'll shear him in the morning. And I'm like, buddy, it's been night for hours. The sheep are tucked away in the barn then. Sure they are. sure are. I knew you could do it, lass. Oh, thank you. Will you be wanting something else from me then? Ooh, yes. Since there we you're go. going to shear the sheep that are in the barn tomorrow anyway, would it be okay if I sheared one of them tonight? You know how to shear a sheep, do you? Well, no, but I need we some raw wool, and I figure it can't be that hard. I'm willing to let you give it a try, but you'll not be finished till you've filled three bags. Do I have your word on it? Three bags of wool. You got it. All right, then. The book there in the barn will tell you how to operate all the equipment. Oh. And to get oh. a sheep into the shearing station, just blow this tune okay. on your whistle. <laughs> Read the instructions, blow the whistle, and you'll be adding sheep shearing to your list of talents in no time at all. <laughs> Three bags full. <laughs> Is that black sheep, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. Leave us how that goes. Might be off a little bit, but yeah. hard can it be to shear a sheep yeah I okay so back in my home state well actually no it may not even be in my home state of Maryland we probably went out of state so maybe Virginia or West Virginia there was like a wool wool and sheep show or something like that and I saw some dude literally like he like manhandled this sheep he sheared that sheep in less than like a minute maybe like 30 seconds. It was the most insane thing I've ever seen. He was like, tossing the sheep this way, tossing the sheep this way, <laughs> shearing the sheep. It was craziness. But awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. So use the chart below to determine the group color, family, and emotion values. Group color and family on the screen. So color is yellow. Family is Dally. Group color and family group. Is it group three? No. Oh, group color. Group color. So yellow, Dally. Valley folk for you. Country guys and gals know how to get the job done. Yeah, I think it was with electric shears. It was with electric shears. But they were like huge. And he just like sheared the sheep in like a minute. And then like patted the sheep on the butt and the sheep like ran away and I was like, what, what is happening? It was impressive though. Okay, so 7 plus 19. We're getting out of calculator because I'm absolutely not doing simple math in my head right now. Uh, 7 plus 19 plus what do we think? Is it bleeding? It doesn't appear to be. It appears to just be like maybe panicked. Let's try that. Now that's an interesting look. I love it. I love it. What a cute sheep. You gotta see your grandma milk, milk cattle, lightning hands. I yeah. can't leave. I promised Mr. Delaney I'd fill three bags with wool. All right, well, now we're a little stuck in here with also sheep noises. Um, that was the same way with my my grandmother and uh, picking crabs. Like, picking crab meat out of, out of crabs. Uh, yeah, it had, like, a spiky purple-pink mohawk. 
Uh, blue, nine. Ronin, 17. And bleeding? Yeah. Yeah, 41. <laughs> Yes, buddy. Yes, look at that. Oh, so cute. It's the best sheep. Uh, hang on. Get me out of this. How are we doing? Will we know more? One bag down, two bags to go. Cool. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Blue is nine, Quinn is twenty-two, and he's like bleeding, but like stamping. Do you think he's angry? Yeah, he looks angry. Forty-four. <laughs> Guess I messed that one up. Oops. We're not cloning sheep. We're just giving them uh, nice haircuts. Except that one. Okay, maybe he was bleeding. I But with the stampy legs, he looked angry. Okay, this is brown. So six. And Quinn is 22. And he seems calm. Very chill. I'm going to give it an 11 for that. So, 39. Yeah, we're not cloning them, we're just giving them cool haircuts. Look at that one! Now that's a mohawk. That's a mohawk if I've ever seen one. The other one was more like spikies. That's a good, that's a good haircut. Just about to ha ask what happens if you get it wrong. Apparently that. Oh, that's not another full bag yet. It's probably because we messed that one up. Oh, I keep forgetting to toot my little whistle. Oh, this one looks angry. Okay, blue is nine. Ronan is 17. And... Yeah, it's like pawing at the ground. Let's say angry. 39. Bad hair day. Yes, another mohawk for this excellent sheep. Actually, let's... That's two bags. I promised Mr. Delaney I'd fill three. Don't worry, we're on it, Nancy. Sorry. Do, 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 do. All right, green is two. Keen is twenty-one, and. It looks calm. Like, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. So I'll give it 11 for 34. Ba ba black sheep. Yes! I, lo I love the bows. The bows are a good one. Oh, huh. Do, 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 do. All right, red for Keen 21 and another very calm sheep, 36. I hope it gets it the spikies again. Oh, more bows. Look like your grandma's Maltese poodle after you gave it a bath as a baby cotton ball. <laughs> How are they leaving with more wool than they started? That's kind of what I was wondering personally. There. All done. All right. Cool. Do I have to tell Denal that I did it? And I'm a little bit over stream time. Magic. It is magic.
Wait, can I just walk down the road? I never bothered just walking. I just realized I didn't click on the road sign. Oh, you can just walk there. Or you can, like, fast travel. What's on your mind, then? Okay, he doesn't care. I'd better get going. Fine with me. Goodbye. Look how he's still drinking that same drink. Oh, if I walk, I gotta walk all the way back. I don't fast travel back. Nancy. Sorry, Nancy. Nancy is getting her steps in. Is there anything, like, to see or do here? No? Okay. Let's go back to the hut real quick in the bog. I just want to make that puppet, and that'll probably be where I call it for the night. Nancy's getting her steps in. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, okay, it is a sheep. I see it now. It's terrifying, little sheep. All right. But that should give us everything we need to do this last puzzle. So I'm going to go get myself in front of the puzzle. That way next time I remember what I'm doing. I'm going to call it there. For the night. Oh. I'm getting sleepy. It's been a long day, and I'm tired, and I want to go to sleep. Oh, not this way. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. It's time to sleep. Okay. Uh, it still looks like we're missing one more puppet, but I think we have all the puppets we need. So, I'll go ahead and save it there. Um, sheep puppet. Cool. All right, I'll go ahead and leave it there for the night. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. It's been, uh, been fun. So, I think you mean voodoo dolls. So that legitimately, like, if you look at this one voodoo doll, the one that has, um, like, the, the ring or whatever it is, like, this one, it has, like, his engagement ring around it, and it kind of looks like him. I feel like I wonder if this is, uh, actually supposed to be like that, and it's a voodoo doll. I don't know. Anyway, all right, that's where I'm calling it there. Uh, I still have no idea. I feel like we're getting pretty far through the game, though, because it feels like we are... Oh, you can't see which thing I'm thinking about. Thingy thingies. Sorry, I forgot I switched the camera. Uh, this one. It has, like, I think it's Matt's engagement ring or somebody's engagement ring around the neck uh, of this doll. And it looks like he would be in, like, a wedding suit, right, with, like, a little bow tie or something in his nice outfit. Well, they do kind of look like voodoo dolls. You're not wrong. All right, but that's what I'm going to call it there for the night. I think we're really starting to get through this game because when I think about, like, the available puzzles, yeah, I don't know how that's actually pronounced. Clada rings or whatever they are. But yes, one of those where it's, like, the the hands with the, holding the heart with, like, the crown on top and stuff like that. Um, but yes, that ring is around the neck of that doll. Which I don't know why we've left it on there and just haven't taken it off. I'm not sure. I don't remember who it belongs to. But I think we're getting mostly through this game because we're we're kind of running out of puzzles. We still need to figure out what's going on with those stones um, with the seasons and the holidays and the constellations. But figure that out next time. Uh, next stream will be on Thursday night and I'm not sure what I'm playing. I have no idea. It'll be something for sure. Surprise stream. All right calling it there. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it, and I will see you all next stream. Bye!